All right, welcome to the channel. This is Jay Sports. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Press sports notification bell so you never miss another video. Here we go. So this is <laughs> the preview of the Golden Knights versus the Seattle Kraken tonight and a couple injury reports or uh, maybe not injury, but something kind of thing. So the first thing, the preview against the Kraken. So if you remember, the Kraken played Vegas for the very first regulation season game. And look, the Golden Knights let it get too close. This is with pretty much all the players in attendance. This is before all the injuries and all of that. So, what the Golden Knights need to do here is keep the puck out of their own end. They need to control Seattle's offense. They're, they seem to be doing pretty well. And they need to figure out a way to get... I think they're playing Grubauer against Grubauer. They need to get past him. Grubauer knows how the Golden Knights play. A lot of these guys, some of these guys are veterans, so they know how the Golden Knights play too. So they need to figure that out, and they need to defend whoever's behind the net tonight. I'm, I'm more than sure it's going to be Leonard. So if Leonard's behind the net and or Brossois is behind the net, they need to protect them both. Because this whole thing of, oh, we're just going to be over here, and Leonard's here trying to protect, and no one's there, well, Seattle's just going to create some good old traffic. Seattle is four seven or no, I'm sorry, seven four and one. So thank God they, they kept that. And Vegas is six and six. So listen, they need to get a little bit better and win this game. They cannot let them catch up. They cannot trail. They cannot give up the lead. And number two, they, well, they just can't give them a chance. So if it's three to two, that's too close of a game. Two to one. There better be some really good defense on both sides. If it goes higher than three on the Golden Knights side, they cannot let Seattle come up with more to get close. Now, that's your preview. Let's get to the injuries that have gone on. So this morning, as they're getting ready for the Seattle Kraken, Mark Stone and Nolan Patrick showed up on the ice. So Mark Stone showed up clean shaven and all of that. He wasn't doing any line rushes or, you know, I was going to say something football, but you know anything like that. He wasn't doing any defense, but he was just kind of practicing on the ice with the team. What happened is he was supposed to be on the LTIR, but in order to be on the LTIR, you had to miss 10 games in 24 days. Well, what they did, what the Golden Knights did, which was really smart, was they let the 24 days pass. And then what they did was they put him on the LTIR after is what I'm hearing from a lot of people who've looked into it. So, essentially, he might be back, I don't know, I would say earliest next week, but they are saying earliest Thursday. So, now, Coach Pete DeBoer did not have a timeline for Mark Stone, and so we're just going to have to wait. As for Nolan Patrick, again, no timeline. Once he got hurt with an upper body injury, he just kind of disappeared off the face of the map, off the face of the earth, and, the, uh, you know, Vegas didn't hear from him. The Golden Knights it, it themselves and then, you know, just nobody. So we don't know what his timeline is going to look like. We don't know if he's going to come back this week, next week, the week after. Is this a good look for the Golden Knights? Yeah, if, if Mark Stone can come back, he's captain for a reason, I guess. And his morale, his leadership and his skills, he's one of the best wingers in the NHL, can help the team. And lately they've needed that. So we will see what happens tonight. They play the Seattle Kraken in a couple hours. Well, in about two. And I'm just excited to see what happens. And hopefully we get a couple guys back that we desperately need. 